Uh, my name is Zach. I'm, I'm from Morocco. And uh, the title of my presentation is uh, In Morocco, we don't know we have Wikipedia Zero. Um, Wikipedia Zero is having access to Wikipedia from your mobile for free. You don't have to have uh, recharge your mobile to have it. So we have this thing in Morocco. But the thing is, we a lot of people don't know they have it. Um, so let's move to the, the first section of the presentation. First of all, let's introduce you to my country. Um, Morocco is a country near Europe. Uh, it's away from Spain, only 15 kilometers. And uh, you have a lot of immigration going on and you have a lot of trouble because people don't have, uh, they, have they don't have uh, a lot of education, they don't have a lot of jobs. So they kind of, you know, just think of moving to Europe and that causes a lot of trouble to our northern uh, neighbors. Um, in Morocco, you have 54% illiteracy rate in villages, in rural areas, that's pretty huge. This, uh, in my opinion, contributes a lot in, in employment because if you, if you don't have a degree, if you don't have something, you have less uh, expectation of having a job there. And uh, unemployment means a lot of problems, not only for the country, but also for you know, pretty much the whole world because I'm pretty sure that Maybe each one of you have heard this name in the news that somebody from this country did something bad in another country, which is um, kind of ashamed of, but uh, that's, that's the reality. Well, uh, I'd just like to, to make a little digression about the previous, uh, the previous presentation, which I liked pretty much. Uh, it was on the depictions of Mohammed, and I'd just like to say something quick was that um, the, the conversation said something, something good, something positive, that the context is important and um, you don't have a one-size-fits-all uh, conception of, of, of certain things. Uh, it, it, had, it missed a little bit, of, uh, a little detail, is that uh, in Islam and uh, in theory, not in practice, but in theory, not only, uh, it, it is not, uh, it is not said only in the hadiths, and uh, the, the prophet did not only say that uh, you should not uh, depict him or something like that, but in the Quran too, it says that you should not depict people, uh, human beings, uh, for uh, idolation, it's just for the sake of them being beautiful. Uh, and uh, if, if you first, you have scientists that depicts a human for, for anatomy, for things like that, but it's not good according to the Quran to depict people because that, um, you know, that makes people adore them and sort of things like that. So it is in the Quran anyway. Um, but the, 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 the thing about the, the previous presentation was that um, if we had more awareness, if we had more knowledge of the other people on the other side, we would have a better uh, conversation about topics like that. And maybe we wouldn't even have conversation about depictions of Muhammad in Wikipedia because we would consider it as something that we already know and, and it, it is not culturally sensitive to depict him for an audience that is made up of, let's say, Muslims or Arabs. It's, you're free to, 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 to express your opinions if you have an audience uh, that is non-Muslim, you can depict him or not. But if you have an audience, it is more culturally sensitive. It's like, it is like uh, speaking about freedom of speech in, the, in a Western context. In a Western context, it would be difficult uh, to, to say, well, you know, I should limit your freedom of speech about this, you know. That would be not culturally sensitive. So that is my digression and let's move back to the point. Well, going back to Morocco, it is in a part of the world that is 
now known as the Global South. It is not the geographical South, Morocco is in the North, but it is considered in the South because it is a poor country, it is a developing country, uh, along with other countries. Uh, but this uh, sort of categorization is useful because it shows us where the problem, where the problem is. It shows us where there is lack of things, there, there, there are needs. And Morocco has the need especially of, let's say, knowledge. Um, this is kind of the reason why it has been criticized for a lack of learning through um, I, I just call it learning through the machine, you know, uh, anything, and you don't have tools to learn. Although it has a good, um, sort of good infrastructure. This is from a report uh, in the previous month. It's a, a very good uh, conference. It was eLearning Africa, and it says that uh, Morocco does have the, the, the tools, does have good structure, does have, people have two mobiles, they have two smartphones, even though they're poor, they don't even use them, but they have them, but still they're, they're not ed educated. So that's what, that's what says, that's what it says here. Now, uh, speaking of the, the global reach and how to allow people in the southern world and the global south to have access to information. Uh, the Wikimedia Foundation has, has a program that focuses on trying to uh, uh, allowing people to, to have access to information. It is a good program in my opinion. And one of the things it does, it, it supports Wikipedia Zero in these countries. The main focus of the, the Global South program is awareness. Awareness is being, being aware of something even though you do not uh, know what it is exactly, but just hearing it, having it on your mind. And when I say Wikimedia Zero, you would at least know that it's something that's for free. It is targeted to the southern, the global south. And it, it could be something useful for these people uh, in spite of other things, in spite of uh, other considerations. It could be something that is useful because in villages where you have uh, uh, a school that is 15 kilometers away, which you travel by foot, and you come back tired, and the teacher is tired too, so you never learn something good. And in this context, you have a mobile, you can access Wikipedia, or Wikibooks, or Wiki, uh, not Wikileaks, um, Wiki Wiktionary, and these sorts of things, and you can still learn. And I know this for sure, because I, I know how much Wikipedia helped me in, in my career, in my studies. It, it helped me a lot to, 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 to have knowledge about pretty much everything. So I think that is really important to have people aware of these things in the context of Morocco. Not only Morocco, but also countries in the southern world like Tunisia. Tunisia also has, it also has Wikipedia Zero, but due to certain consideration, it has been stopped. Uh, these considerations did not consider the fact that people need to learn. They just they had other considerations, uh, sort of like making profit and these kinds of things. So it had stopped, according to uh, Munir Tuzri over there from he's uh, from Wikimedia Tunisia, and he told me that. So he's the reference, and uh, in Algeria, which is next to Tunisia, next to Morocco in the same area, in the same uh, European Union neighborhood, uh, they have only access to Wikipedia uh, through one operator. Not, not, there are two, but they only have access to, uh, with one. And that is the, the point that 
that is why I'm here, is that if you do not uh, have more, Wikipedia is zero, you would have less. To a point you will, you will have zero. That is to say that if there is not pretty mu much action that is done now, this project would just go away and would just return to uh, the state of, of things uh, as they are where there is no education, there is no uh, knowledge, and there are top, there are just let's just say it's ideology ruling uh, in these regions where you do not know about the West and the West does not know about you and where you have certain misconceptions that you just learn all over the place instead of learning them in one, one good place which is Wikipedia. We have uh, different opinions, references and things like that. So that would sort of give you a better understanding of, of, of the other, other people in other parts of the world. So that is now the points that I will, um, now I'm gonna give the, the floor to my friend. His name is uh, Jack Rawa. He's from Jordan. They also have Wikipedia Zero and they're struggling to make it, to make it develop. And he's also uh, the, Strat no, no, the strategic man, strategic, how do you say? Strategic partnerships, thank you, Zach. Hello, everyone, uh, so this is, yeah, round of applause for Zach, that was, that was incredible, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, hi, everyone, my name is Jack, Jack Robach. Um, I'm a part of the Global Reach team, um, uh, and I'm the uh, strategic partnerships manager for the Middle East and Africa, and uh, I am living in Amman, Jordan, um, and I actually wish I can pull up some facts about Jordan, but no, it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, so I I'm here to uh, compliment uh, and thank Zach um, um, for, for bringing this up. I think this is a great opportunity to talk about this. Um, and I, I think awareness is, is such an important topic. Um, and and this for, uh, I would like this opportunity to open up the question for, for us as the community. Um, uh, how can we work together in order to increase this awareness? Um, so uh, as Zach said, the, uh, the mobile operators offer Wikipedia Zero after we discuss with them and, and, and see if, if, if the program works and if it fits. Um, and in countries where the operators uh, and, and, and us partner with Wikipedia Zero, um, since these operators are commercial, um, they tend to um, <laughs> they tend to basically promote uh, programs that, that are bringing them revenue and money. Um, and so, since the Wikipedia Zero does not bring them revenue or money, um, they are not promoting it as as much. So basically, people don't really know much about Wikipedia Zero. Um, so I, I, I think that this is a great opportunity for us to discuss this topic and, and, and try to understand how we can raise this awareness um, together, working with the communities locally, so we can inform them in countries uh, that Wikipedia Zero exists uh, in order to, to increase the readership, increase the awareness. Um, as Zach said, in, in Jordan, there's Wikipedia Zero with Omnia, one of the operators there, and I worked on the renewal process with them. And uh, through the discussions with the operator, um, we uh, agreed, well, they agreed to sponsor an event in Amman in the next month or so um, as more of a competition. So I'll be working with the local community in Jordan um, so we can put together this, uh, this event, this competition that will increase the awareness to university students, to mission aligned organizations so that they can start getting to know Wikipedia Zero more. Um, I'll quickly just talk about the Global Reach team, um, uh, which uh, basically uh, works on increasing the readership and awareness in Latin America, in the Middle East, in Africa, and in Asia. And so it's Wikipedia Zero, but also we're working on other strategic partnerships. And these are the partnerships that we are working on, and we, want, we actually want to work very, very closely with the community. And we, we have started working with the community in, in doing um, office hours and, and increasing our presence on Meta and, and looking at these partnerships from a more strategic point of view. Um, so um, under the four pillars that we, we look at these partnerships, governmental um, partnerships um, uh, is, is one thing that we look at. Um, for example, nonprofits that are mission aligned. So so in Jordan, I'm working on a pilot um, to, uh, to, to offer um, uh, you know, uh, 
possibly like Wikipedia to the refugees in, in, in Jordan. So this is a, 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 a partnership that will work with nonprofits that have the same mission. Uh, but we also recognize that uh, working with educational entities um, uh, um, uh, could, would be important. Uh, also, um, working with um, uh, the um, even the private sector. Uh, we're we're uh, we're looking into um, a, a USSD um, uh, partnership in Argentina. My my colleague Jorge here uh, is working on this. Um, so these are some of the ways that the Global Reach team is is working together to increase the awareness uh, and increase the reach. Uh, and readership um, in, in, in the areas that we are under. So uh, I, I, the question I want to leave with everyone is how can we work together um, on, on increasing this awareness? Uh, what are some of the questions we need to raise? Um, so please uh, feel free to raise them to us um, and, and work together. Uh, again, we're on Meta, so we would like to hear all your feedback about this and see how that works. Thank you. All right, so um, let's just be quick. We'll move to questions in a minute. Um, the last thing I want to say is that uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before I was talking to my friend Bashunda. He's from Wikimedia Algeria, and he said something important. Uh, he said that uh, if we as, as, as uh, chapters in, 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 in uh, the global south, for instance, Tunisia and Morocco, the local chapters, how can we work with the team, the global south team? Uh, th he said that the most important thing is that we should have a sort of license, a sort of method, a sort of uh, something that we can base, be based on to speak on behalf of the Wikimedia Foundation to promote such a program as, uh, as Wikipedia Zero. And uh, that's what we're working on. And uh, in Morocco, that's, that's where we're going. I mean, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so there is an envisioned collaboration between the Wikimedia Foundation and uh, the Wikime Wikimedia Morocco, but we need uh, assistance, we, we, we would kindly request help and sort of anything from any other chapter that has maybe more experience in, in other countries. And we pretty much welcome your communication, your contacts through, um, first of all, and most importantly, just, just saying, talking about this project, mention it to people, just speak about it, in, in events, talk about it. Say if, if it's good or bad, but just talk to people about it. Tell them that it exists in, in certain countries and that certain countries in the South have access to Wikipedia for free. But also you can check, you can use the hashtag, you know, hashtag Wikipedia Zero or like the Facebook page just to have uh, if there are posts in the future, you, you, you would see them on your, f you, in your, in your wall, <laughs> on your Facebook wall. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to access this article, you know, uh, write on it, on just add something or remove something. That's how Wikipedia works and you already know. You, j you can go to this link. And now uh, it's time for the questions and Jorge is over there, welcomes your questions. He's also from the Global Reach team, and thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Nadir from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, two mobile operators in Kyrgyzstan have uh, zero rated access to uh, Wikipedia. And whenever you access Wikipedia on your mobile, uh, for the first time, you get a notification that uh, you know, you, we are uh, partnering in Wikipedia Zero. If you want to use it, please press, uh, you know, dial these numbers. So if, uh, do, do you guys do the same in Morocco? Because that, that's how you can tell everyone that you know, uh, Wikipedia Zero exists in, in your country. Thanks, that's very important. Um, the, I, I forgot to mention this. 
Yes, thank you so much. Um, that's, that's pretty much happening everywhere. Mobile operators, of course, they don't have ads for Wikipedia Zero because there's not a lot of profit for them. But they only uh, have this banner that you're using your phone and it's charged and it has access, but when sort of the access is over, uh, it just, they give you this banner that, well, we, the operator's name, give you Wikipedia for free. And then you, you have this access. But of course they don't, of course they don't, of course they don't, of course they don't have uh, ads for it and that's our, our job. But uh, this is pretty much happening everywhere. It's in Algeria and Bashunda again said something that uh, they have this in Algeria, which is funny. They have in a sort of a village or a town, they have, they have a sort of, what do you call it? Uh, an, an ad about, uh, about using your mobile to, to access Wikipedia, but they don't mention Wikipedia, they just mention, you know, do us, you know, recharge, and uh, that's, that's correct? Yeah, 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 that's correct, yeah. Okay. So, uh, it's, they're sort of like using it to promote themselves, and now it's sort of our job to promote it. So, yeah. Hi, Marcus. Another question. Uh, I'm the opposition today. I'm definitely against using Wikipedia Zero. Uh, I think Wikipedia Zero is definitely very problematic. We're working against net neutrality. Uh, if uh, we have Wikipedia Zero, uh, for example, external links are not reachable. If we have uh, Wikipedia Zero, only Wikipedia Zero and maybe Facebook is reachable, and so we have the only information point for, for a lot of people, except uh, we're working on a free internet, that they can choose where they want to go. If they uh, want to go to Wikipedia, it's, uh, it's uh, fantastic if Wikipedia is good. It's not always so. I know a lot of articles who are terrible, and you can look with Google for better things. If I have a presentation uh, that's so enthusiastic, I n need to, uh, must, I must uh, have to have the possibility to speak against it. Sorry, but uh, it. Uh, what what should we do? All right, so. by our friends Jensen Asian. So I think that this topic is definitely relevant for the conversation and it's gonna happen later today, I believe. Hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so on my way, I'm just gonna ask, that is controversial, Marcus. Uh, there is difference of opinion as in this in this uh, session, and we're still discussing that. But uh, there there is uh, Jorge, and uh, he's the one to speak. He knows pretty much the previous discussions that that were ha that people had. There is a huge fight, and there is an, a disagreement about should it be or not. Does it hurt open uh, internet or not? But that needs a little bit of, um, no, I mean discussions, you know, conversation. I, I never saw a discussion. I, I saw some people spoke against it and they were ignored. That's all. Yes, exactly. There are people who spoke against it. Uh, I'll just give my opinion, okay? Uh, I think that even though there's a lot of discussions about it, but uh, f for me, I think it, it, it works in, in my context. I would not suggest it in the Western world because they have access wherever you go. 
but in, in countries like uh, mine, it would be useful and uh, let's just hope it could benefit the people. If it's not, it would just be over in the future, so. Um, do you have any idea what impact this is having? Do you have any stats and how can I find them for my own country, Kosovo? Um, yes, uh, before we summarize this page, there is also another page that we were working on, uh, Jack and uh, also other people from the Global South, and we put a lot of uh, information in it that I, I will provide in this page. It, it, it shows how uh, Wikipedia is, it, it could be useful in these countries according to other sources which say that, uh, according to other sources, but according to, I would not consider myself a source, but I just noticed how people, uh, as, as they know, as you tell them, well, you know, there is Wikipedia Zero, they start just using it because in, 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 uh, I studied at the university, there was not a lot of means, and I kept just telling people, well, you know, you don't have to charge if you wanna write your research or you wanna do your studies. There is Google Books, there is Google Wikipedia, it's for free, and the next day, I just noticed them that they're using it. But there are also facts that I will provide later, and thank you for bringing this up in this page. Okay. Uh, just a quick question. Um, do people that do not know they have Wikipedia Zero at least know they have Wikipedia at all? The people who do not know they have Wikipedia Zero, uh, do know they have Wikipedia at all in Morocco? Well, uh, I'm not sure, but I would say yes, uh, because, uh, you know, I would say that I, I like to brag sometimes, and I tell people, well, you know, I work at Wikipedia, do you know it? And they say definitely, yeah, because pretty much everyone, everyone has access to the internet, and whatever you just search something, you have Wikipedia on the top page. So they're kind of familiar, and they kind of mess with it around, and I have a lot of friends who just go there and mess with it, they remove things. So it's pretty common, they, they know it, the, the media knows it too, and you can never imagine how you read in newspapers uh, paragraphs from Wikipedia just like that, you know, a famous newspaper, and my father is reading a newspaper, and he tells me, well, you know, they said, and my, newspaper, so and so and so, and I tell them, wow, that's that, just the way they said it, so it's pretty much, they, they, they know it, I think. So, that's one, no? one minute. Results are available on our meta page. If you go on meta and global reach, basically we're calling people on their mobile phones to just simply ask them, do you know Wikipedia? How do you use your phone? Have you heard of Wikipedia before? Because we want to be sure and have some hard stats on whether people in these countries actually know that Wikipedia exists. Because as our friend Zach was saying, like, or uh, some people don't know what Wikipedia Zero exists, but in many of these countries, people don't even know that Wikipedia is something or, that, or what an encyclopedia is. So that's why we believe that we have to do a lot of efforts working together on raising awareness of the existence of Wikipedia, that Wikipedia is a useful tool to read. And besides Wikipedia Zero, what else could we be doing to promote that awareness, right? So those results are there. We did some research, uh, we did some surveys in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Mexico, in Brazil, in India, and in Indonesia. And the results are definitely very strong. We can see how in Ghana, for instance, we called over 7,000 people and uh, over 80% of the people didn't know what Wikipedia is. And Ghana is a country where Wikipedia Zero exists. So that raised the question of, well, maybe we have to be doing more than just Wikipedia Zero, right? Maybe we should be putting some effort on just spreading the word that Wikipedia is there, that is free, that everyone can edit, and that it's a useful educational resource. So what else could we do to promote this? How can we make Wikipedia part of the top of mind of people? And I, th I think that's the current challenge we're doing. Uh, that said, I know we're over time, but uh, I would love to invite everyone. We're gonna be around, Jack and I, from the Global Reach team, 
please feel free to talk to us anytime, ask us any question. We're more than happy to, to discuss about it.